Hello, once again, this is Bakayara with yet another Movecraft update. So this has been kind of a crazy month. Uh, we've seen the release just a few days ago of Spigot 1.8. So we can now have, finally, after our long wait, we can have Spigot servers running 1.8. And that's what we're running right now. Uh, so, I have been in a uh, frenzy of development to uh, get Movecraft ready, and I have finally finished it. Uh, it did take some doing, I must say. Um, but, uh, but yes, uh, we can now run Movecraft in 1.8. Now, because it took so long uh, to get that development done, I don't have a whole lot to show you. Uh, but I did want to show you that that now works. Uh, and there are a few other things which we'll get to. Um, so, first, let's talk about 1.8 a little bit more. Um, so since uh, it is so new, at the time of this video, uh, it just came out a few days ago, it's uh, difficult to find plugins that support it, and a lot has changed. So a lot of plugins may not work. Uh, try it, maybe you'll get lucky, but a lot of the ones I've checked have not worked. Specifically, World Guard. Okay, so we all know Movecraft integrates with World Guard so that you can protect your cities and so on. As of right now, there is a build of World Guard that will work with 1.8 and will work with Movecraft, but it has to be a specific build off of their development server, so it is a beta build, and I'm going to link it in the comments. I mean, hopefully, in a couple months, this should all be sorted out, but for right now, um, like I said, you've got to be running that exact build, which I'll link. Now, uh, Movecraft has a native map updater for 1.8. Uh, so that is to say, you can be in non-compatibility mode in 1.8, uh, and it'll work. And it is, like usual, about 25% faster than compatibility mode. But lightning, I'm sorry, lighting does not work, uh, which you may already be familiar with. There are, there are problems with the lighting engine in the, uh, in the native updater. So if you care about lighting, particularly those ghost lights uh, that used to plague Movecraft, especially under the ocean, if those things bother you, then use compatibility mode. That is my recommendation right now. Um, if that doesn't bother you and you need that extra performance, then use native mode. Also, the new gates and doors, uh, they're all supported. Uh, so you can use the new uh, woods for the gates and doors. Also, the iron trap door. Uh, so one thing people have noted is pretty much all of my uh, ship designs, you've got these little hatches. Well, you know, just anyone could hop on your ship, open the hatches, and, you know, kill you, do whatever. So you can now replace those with an iron door, which uh, can only be opened from the inside. Uh, or just as an example. All right. Uh, the other thing that you need to know <coughs> is that banners are not currently supported. Uh, I don't think there's even an interface for them yet in the API. I, mean, I could be wrong, but uh, anyway, I'll get that uh, supported eventually. Not sure why you'd want a banner on a ship. I don't know, maybe an insignia? I guess I could see that. Anyway, but the big thing that you really need to care about is multi-threading. So 1.8, unlike every version of Minecraft that has come before, 1.8 is finally multi-threaded. Yay! In other words, you can now have many ships flying at once, and they will operate on separate cores. So if you have a server with 10 cores on it, in essence, you can think of it as you can now fly 10 ships uh, with this exact same performance that you used to get with only one ship. I hope that makes sense. So this is something that's probably going to matter more to server operators, uh, but for you guys, it is very important. I cannot overstress how wonderful it is that it can finally do that. But that's not all that's in this latest edition. I did manage to get in one feature which some people had asked for. So here we have this uh, Silver Empire light cruiser, right? Well, it's difficult to tell which way the various turrets are facing. So I added this feature, which now every time you perform a subcraft rotate, which is used for turrets primarily. Uh, let me take control of this ship. Uh, but if I rotate this turret, it says, the farthest extent now faces west. And then I can reference my screen here. Oh, west? Well, that's that way. So that turret is now facing that way. 
Okay, so let's say that, uh, oh, that building right there has incurred my wrath, and therefore it must pay. So I'm going to turn my ship, and we're going to hit it with a broadside. Now, I have no idea which way my turrets are facing right now, right? Uh, just for reference, we'll go up there and look. All right, so one of them's facing completely the wrong way, the, that one's facing forward, that one's facing aft, you know, completely not w the way we want it, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to go down here, and I right-click, and it says it, uh, it's obstructed. Okay, then I'll left-click. It's facing west. Hmm, okay, which direction is that building? That building is south. Okay, well, we want it to face south. So I'm going to left-click again. Now it's facing south. Great, this one I'll left-click. Facing south, perfect. This one, I'll right click. Facing south, great. Now I'm ready to fire. Pull the trigger. I don't have to go check my turrets because I already know which way they're facing. And boom! And <laughs> I blew the eagle's body off, it looks like. And you know what? That is not sufficient punishment. Therefore, I shall activate my fire guns. Take that, building! They must have been uh, late in their tax payment or something. Well, they will not be late again. Anyway, the only other real change that you need to be aware of is that uh, the there used to be this bug uh, where if you used overall sync percentage, uh, so there's two different sinking engines. I don't want to get into too great detail, but basically it was a very simple sinking system which said if X percent of the ship is destroyed, it sinks, period, the end. Uh, that used to be buggy, um, where it would activate while the ship was moving, kind of randomly. Uh, it didn't happen all the time. It affected large ships primarily. I believe that is now fixed. Now, because it was intermittent, I can't guarantee it's fixed, so I need your help. You know, if you if you see that, and that if that happens, you're just cruising around minding your own business, and you're sure your ship did not take any damage, and it just randomly starts to sink, and you have overall sink percent activated, let me know. Because, like I say, I think it's fixed, but uh, let me know if you have any problems. Well, that's about all I have. Like I say, uh, a short video this time. Uh, but uh, let me know uh, what you think, and uh, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.